Flyflow headphones help me reach my full potential in any environment. AI video generation has completely disrupted the entire video and content creation playing field. Now anyone can add a simple or detailed prompt and generate incredible, stunning and realistic videos for business content, like video ads. It's actually mind-blowing what you can generate with AI, especially with Google's new AI video generation model called VO3. So my focus today is to dive into VO3 and share how you can create engaging paid and organic video ads to grow your business. Now to leverage Google Flow to generate video content for your business like video ads and other business content, we first need to upgrade to Google AI. If we navigate down here, you can see there are two options, Google AI Pro and Google AI Ultra. Now to arrive at this landing page, I'll add a link down below in the description. With Google AI Ultra, you get access to the most extensive Google Flow features. On the other hand, Google AI Pro has a few limitations. You cannot access the premium feature of Ingredients to Video, and we'll touch on this feature in this video. However, both plans allow you to access VO3, which is what we're going to leverage today to generate business videos. Now another important thing to note is the credit limit across plans. AI Ultra gives you 12,500 monthly AI credits, whereas AI Pro only gives you 1,000. For the purpose of today's Flow VO3 tutorial, we're going to leverage Google AI Pro, which is currently significantly more affordable than Google AI Ultra. However, it allows us to still leverage VO3. Navigate down and get started with Google AI Pro for free on their free trial, and I'll meet you inside Google Flow. Okay, so here we are inside of Google Flow. What you can do is type in Google Flow in your browser to locate Google Flow. What I'll also do is add a link down below in the description that will take you here. Now to generate business videos or any videos with Google Flow, we have three options. Simply navigate down here. And firstly, we can use text to video. This is where you want to be as detailed as possible to create your scenes. Each prompt that you add will create one video scene. Next, we have frames to video. Basically, you can add an image to get started, like an image of a product that you sell. This allows you to create subject or product consistency. And then we have ingredients to video. However, this is only available in Google AI Ultra. Here you can add your own content to videos like images, clips, narrations, and music. Personally, I've tested this out and it's not amazing just yet. It's better to take your video content that you generate and make edits and customizations on another platform. You can even do this with Canva. Okay, so let's navigate up to text to video and then navigate over here. Click on settings. First, select the model. Currently we have VO2 fast selected. This is an older version of Flow and the video content that is created based on your prompt is not very accurate and the quality is not amazing. VO2 fast allows you to generate video content quickly. This will cost you 10 credits per video generated. Then we have VO2 quality. This will take a bit more time to generate your video and produce a higher quality output. That's gonna cost you 100 credits. Then we have VO3 fast, text to video. How are you finding Emma's Pilates class? I love Emma's classes. They are the best in the Bay, in my opinion. <laughs> That's gonna cost you 20 credits. Again, a high quality output, then VO2. And then we have VO3 quality, which again is gonna cost you 100 credits. How are you finding Emma's Pilates class? Yes. I love Emma's classes. They are the best in the Bay, in my opinion. Now, if we select outputs, we can choose how many video outputs we want to generate with our prompts. For example, if we select two, we can generate two variations of a prompt. However, that's going to use more credits. So let's navigate up here and select one and navigate down to model and select VO3 fast for now. Remember, you have limited credits per month. Okay, let's navigate down to the prompt and add our video text. Now, when crafting business videos or any videos with Flow, you want to think about three things when creating a prompt. This is the location of the video. Are you inside, outdoors? What is in the environment? Think about the setting, the lighting, the mood, and even objects in the background. As you can see, I've done that here. Two women in their early 30s doing Pilates on a reformer machine in a studio that is elegantly designed with a few indoor plants. This is the context for the situation, the environment. 
And this is part of a marketing video that I want to create. For example, let's say that my partner, Emma, runs a Pilates studio. So I'm going to leverage Google Flow to create a promotional business video for her studio. Next, we need to talk about what's happening in this scene. And you also want to add an action. For example, if we navigate over here, the first woman asks the other woman, how are you finding Emma's Pilates class? The other woman responds in an upbeat manner, I love Emma's classes. They are the best in the bay in my opinion. So again, you first want to describe the environment and you want to be as detailed as possible. The more details you provide to the AI, the better the video output. Then describe what's happening. This positions the subject. And then you want to break down the action. And the action in this business video is the two women talking highly about Emma's Pilates class. Okay, let's generate this video. Give Google Flow a moment to generate your video. And as you can see, my video has been generated. Let's go ahead and preview this. How are you finding Emma's Pilates class? I love Emma's classes. They are the best in the Bay, in my opinion. <laughs> and I'm happy with that. Now with this output, I may want to change my prompt slightly. For example, I could make the room darker. I could explain how the camera moves as well as the camera angle. Okay, I'm going to add the same prompt down here. And this time I'm going to navigate up to settings and change the model to VO3 quality. And let's go ahead and compare this. Again, give Google Flow a moment to generate your video. This model will take slightly longer. Okay, let's check out this new Pilates scene video generated by VO3 Quality. How are you finding Emma's Pilates class? Yes. I love Emma's classes. They are the best in the Bay, in my opinion. Okay, so you can see the overall video is higher quality in VO3 Quality versus VO3 Fast. However, I'm happy with both these videos. Then what we can do is download these videos and edit them on another platform if we like, like Canva. We can view in full screen, as well as delete if we like. Now we can also add to scene. This allows us to build out this business video with additional scenes inside of Flow. And we can also expand this scene. For example, if we navigate down here, if we select jump to, we can create a new scene that this scene jumps to, or we can extend the existing scene. For example, I can click here, and now we want to add what happens next. Come down, add the prompt to extend the shot. For example, then the woman on the left stands up and says, I can't believe Emma only charges $20 per session. The woman on the right responds and says, you are so right. Summer bod, here we come. Both women laugh a bit. Now, if the people in your videos are speaking, make sure you're adding speech marks so that the AI can pick this up. Next, navigate over to settings. Again, we can select the number of outputs we want to generate. This time, I'm going to generate two, then come down to model. And this is where Google Flow still has some issues when you want to extend a scene or jump to a new scene using an existing video so you can keep the consistency. You can only leverage VO2 fast. Currently, Google does not allow you to use these other options. I'm sure this will change very soon. If you're watching this video months down the track, you may be able to access these options now. If so, I suggest selecting either VO3 fast or VO3 quality. For now, let's go ahead and select the only option and then click on generate. Okay, let's go ahead and play both scenes together. Okay, so the first part of the scene was generated with VO3 and the second part was generated with VO2 fast, which doesn't allow for audio and it did not listen to much of my prompt. They did not stand up and they did not talk. And like I mentioned, what you can also do is create a new scene. However, you can only leverage VO2 for this too. As you can see, you can build out video content, video ads, business videos, and other videos using Google Flow and this scene builder. The idea is there, it's just not quite at the quality that we need. However, I'm sure this will change and become very good very soon. Okay, let's navigate back over to Flow and create a new project. Now, in terms of the Pilates business video that I mentioned earlier, what I would do is create separate scenes using text to video and then download those videos and add them together inside another video editing platform or using a simple editor like you can find in Canva. Next, let's click on text to video and change this to frames to video. Navigate down here and let's upload an image. I'm going to use this image here and click on open. And let's change this example. Let's say that I want to create video content, social media video ads for a business that sells headphones and earphones. Here's an image of one of the headphones. When you upload an image, you can crop that image if you like. I'm happy with this, crop and save. Now let's generate a video using this image. First, let's add a prompt. 
For example, slowly zoom into the image and show the headphones being consumed by the background as if the background was a liquid substance slowly consuming the headphones. Now we can also click here and choose the video angle type. Pan right, dolly out, jib down, dolly in, and we have these others. I'm going to select dolly in. However, as you can see, I've mentioned this, the movement of the camera in this prompt. Then navigate over to settings, and this time I'm going to generate four outputs. Again, unfortunately, with this generation model, we can only leverage VO2 fast. We can only use VO3 fast and VO3 quality for text to video. So let's go ahead and test this out. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM M down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And these headphones are waterproof, so I want to create video content that captures these headphones being waterproof, and then string these together into a video ad. Give Google Flow a moment to generate your video content. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out these videos. It looks like only three have been generated. Okay, so we have this one. That looks quite good based on my prompt. Let's navigate over here and check out this one. That's similar again. Doesn't look like liquid in the background. Looks like a disco or something. Let's navigate down here and check out this one. And this one looks like a black goo. So my favorite would be this one here. However, VO2 Fast hasn't really generated the video that I was after. Okay, what we're gonna do is navigate back over to Flow and then navigate down to New Project, then change the settings. And this is where we can use VO3 quality. I'm going to generate two outputs and then navigate down here and add. The scene is based in Bali in a beautiful lush jungle with a waterfall. Show a man in his early 30s wearing headphones and sitting on a new looking sofa under the Bali waterfall. The camera will zoom in to the man wearing the headphones. This will show how water resistant the headphones are. Let's generate these two outputs. Okay, let's see what these look like. Right, the look at that, zooming in. The water does look a little bit funny. It doesn't look like it's coming from the waterfall. If we navigate over to this one, see, oh yep, it jumps in, then zooms in. I like the look of that. Look how real that looks. And if I like, I can simply download both these videos and use them in my business content when selling waterproof headphones. I'm actually going to add this prompt again and add audio. Okay, so I've added, the man will talk to the camera and say in a smooth and motivational voice, Flyflow headphones will help me reach my full potential in any environment. Okay, let's create this promotional business video for the brand Flyflow that sells headphones. Okay, let's check this out. Flyflow headphones help me reach my full potential in any environment. And I'm super happy with that outcome. I can work on this video if I like and modify the prompt to create the exact type of video I want to create for my business. However, that is everything I wanted to cover in this Google Flow tutorial, showing you as a business owner how you can leverage VO3 to generate video content for your business. And there we have it guys. Thank you so much for watching this Google Flow video all the way through to the end. If you got value from this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.